All right, guys. You know a kid who is chubby, but at the same time very cute. Yeah, it is Samsung Galaxy A52. Now I'm going to review it, and these are the topics I'm going to talk about, and these are the numbers of this phone. Let's jump into it. Design. The Samsung Galaxy A52s is pretty much identical to its predecessors in terms of design. The phone has polycarbonate back panel with plastic frame. The frame has a smoky chrome finish, while the back panel has a matte white surface that feels like a marble. The matte plastic back panel is good at rejecting fingerprint and gives the phone a premium feel. A design element that stands out is camera module, which increases slightly from the back, but features a similar finish and color. This makes the lens cutout stand out and gives the phones a very modern appearance. Unlike the most smartphones in the segment, the Galaxy A52 has a 3.5mm headphone jack that is located at the bottom next to the USB type C port. The phone's earpiece sits in a fine slit between the display glass and the plastic frame that protects it. Apart from being used for call, it does double duty as a secondary speaker. Now it is time for display. Just like Samsung Galaxy A52, the A52s has IP67 rating for dust and water resistance. This is the one of only a few smartphones that offer this premium feature. As per Samsung, this phone can withstand submerge up to 1 meter in fresh water for 30 minutes. The Galaxy A52s has 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with cutout for the selfie camera. This display is made of Gorilla Glass 5 for sure and, and it is good at resisting smudges. The bezel appears a bit thicker than most smartphones in 40,000 segment. Software and Specifications The Samsung Galaxy A52s has Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 SoC. This mid-ranger processor is also found in Realme GT Master Edition and Moto H20, which are priced starting from 25,000 and 29,000 respectively. This processor isn't underpowered in any way, but the Samsung Galaxy A52 will compared against other 40,000 segment smartphones such as the Realme GT and the Xiaomi Mi 11X Pro which are powered by Qualcomm's top end Snapdragon's 888 processor. Now it is time for performance. The 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display has 120Hz refresh rate which is an upgrade from 90Hz panel on the Galaxy A52. The 120Hz refresh rate is useful while playing fast paced games. And the Super AMOLED panel with its deep black made video content look like quite immersive. Helped by sound from the stereo speakers, the display is good at rejecting fingerprints at a legible under direct sunlight. What I did miss with Samsung Galaxy A52s is support of HDR10 while streaming videos. The performance of the Samsung Galaxy A52s Snapdragon 778 it isn't bad but it isn't on par with compelling smartphone at the same price level. With that said, the Galaxy A52s has achieved a throttle score at 90% which is exactly similar to Realme GT's score. But at Geekbench, I saw a difference. A52s has obtained 586 in single core and 24063 in multi core while Realme GT managed 780 and 2489 respectively. Similar case for GPU test, the Samsung Galaxy A52s has obtained score of 2168 while the Realme GT managed 2487. Besides the synthetic benchmarks, the Galaxy A52s gaming performance wasn't bad. I played Call of Duty, BGMI and Asphalt 9 at very high graphics and frame rate settings with no noticeable hitting issues or lag. Touch sampling felt a bit low, but I did not lose any matches because of it. So yeah, performance is good though. Cameras. It has 4 rear cameras. This setup includes 64 megapixel primary, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth camera. Selfie duties are handled by a 32 megapixel front camera. The camera's interface is typically Samsung and has all of the important controls accessible with the single tap. The camera mode can customize as well. The Galaxy A52s turned out to be quite the performer while taking photos in daylight. These photos came out a bit saturated, which is typically Samsung, but sharp and clear with good dynamic range. Photo suits indoor also come out clear, but this heavily depend on the quality of artificial lighting. 
the lack of which led to laser detail. The primary rear camera suits sharp portraits with plenty of details and good edge detection. The 32 megapixel front camera also captures some sharp selfies with excellent details and impressive edge detection. Some shots take with the ultra wide cameras in daylight look decent but shows some purple fringes in bright areas. There are also some nasty barrels distortion around the edges of frames make the photos appear stretched and blurred. Samsung's ultra wide safe correction camera features only made things worse. The 5 megapixel macro camera managed some good close ups but details were a bit exaggerated. Photo shots in low light shows noticeably less details and sharpness. The night mode managed to correct most of it. Battery. The Samsung Galaxy A52s has lasted 15 hours 23 minutes in our HD video low battery test, which isn't bad for premium smartphone but is surprisingly lower than what we got with Samsung Galaxy A52. Thankfully, this wasn't the case with everyday use as the phone easily lasted me a day and a half with some gaming, photography and video streaming. Charging the phone using including 15 watt charger took 1 hour and 37 minutes to charge which isn't bad and this could be improved if you use your own 25 watt charger. Speakers. It has two speakers and simply very loud and clear and I love it. Now it is time for verdict guys. What I think the Samsung Galaxy A52s is worth the upgrade if you are a fan of the brand and looking for a premium smartphone with the IP rating in the segment of 40,000. However, when it comes to value, the Samsung Galaxy A52s high price sees it getting sandwiched by phones that cost far less or offer superior features and performance. For example, Motorola H20 and Realme GT Master Edition, which I reviewed two days ago. This is it guys, I hope you find this video helpful and I'll meet you in the next one with a new phone or gadget. And don't forget to subscribe by the way, this makes me happy. Bye.